Hello again. Lovely to see you come back to Narkway. Do you recognize this place? Well, it's Wayne and we boat ramp again. And we've had a, we've got a pretty good day today. It's got a high cloud. The water is calm. Haven't been in the water yet. It looks oh, medium, sort of okay. We'll see how we go. And we've got someone diving with us today. Welcome to Ying. Hi guys. <laughs> It's your first time diving, right? Yeah. Yeah. First time diving in um, Akaroa. Mm. Let's get in. I expected the weather to be like a little bit worse, like because um, I knew the temperature. So um, before I go, I was like a little bit concerned because I hate cockneys. front of the boat. <laughs> oh. I was alright. I was alright. Some some splash into my eyes but I quite enjoy that right. I really love this spot. It's such a beautiful spot. You've got this combination of stoniness and you've got the seaweed and you've got clear water, rock rock walls and you've got this beautiful waterfall there, especially after some rain. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful spot to dive. So I couldn't resist here, hitting here again. I've been here before. And uh, we've got to gear up and uh, we've got to give Ying a little bit of instruction on how to use some of the gear. This is her first time and um, yeah, let's uh, get our gear on and head into the water. The thing is, once you get a power, yes. you'll have to do, do something with it. You'll have to come back and put it on the boat where you'll have to have a catch pad. Yeah. So you can either carry that net or you can put this around your waist. So the way to tell when you put the power shell yes. up against here, yeah. it has to be it has to be bigger than that notch. Okay, I see. If it fits inside, it's too small. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
little bit scared to see the giant seaweed and when they were weaving in the water that um that that looks like a little bit scary it takes maybe like one minute or two to get used to that and it was not easy to um to 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 find the power at the first time but as long as you uh find them it's actually not that difficult and to find them is the easy part the difficult part is to um grab them and get them off the rock one is just big enough. Okay. You see that? Look at that. Just big enough. I so want to take a picture of this one. This is the first one I got. Yeah. Look at it. It's moving. See? Yep. So should I put it up here? Yep. Definitely he's not in our way. But there are a lot more down there. Did you see? Yep. Yeah, we have to go through them and try to find some big ones. So just pace yourself, you know, just uh, have, yeah. a, have a rest on the surface and then when you're ready to go down, you go down. Um, if I can see one and I, I tried to put this one through, but I failed, so yeah. is there a trick, a tip? Oh, you just got to do it quickly, because if, if you touch them, they grab, they grab onto the rock hard. Okay. So, so you have to try to get the knife in quickly. Okay. That's the trick. He's just doing it quickly. Okay. Uh, so just pace yourself, you know, you don't want to panic. Okay. Or get too excited. Yeah. You know, they're not going anywhere, they're, they're still there. Yeah. So, you know, and we know that there's plenty of them there, we just got to try to go through them and try to get some ones that are big enough. Each. Well, if we can find five each. <laughs> We might have to go somewhere else, we might not find five here. Okay. quite easy for you to get excited so um, just try to come down and not to get too excited
There were fewer power on this rock than the last time I visited and I suspect it could be the multiple large starfish all over this rock so ah, it's time to find a new spot for the next time around but I was really happy that this water was extremely clear especially considering we've had a lot of rain recently and you know nice clear water is what you want for a beginner you know for a first timer like Ying so I was really happy with the water quality. Get on to the get back onto the boat as long as I put the um, put the uh, weight belt on the proper place, like on my uh, back instead of on my stomach. I tell you what, the petrol that was in the petrol tank on the boat on this trip was about three and a half months old, and I tell you what, when they say that petrol like has an expiry date and it runs out. Don't hold on to your old petrol because the outboard motor on this trip did not like that old petrol but it got us there and it got us back and it was a good trip overall. Well it's getting a bit cold and uh, you know it's just getting chilly so we've had a good swim. We don't have very many power but it's not always about take 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 it's about the experience and this is your first time right? Yeah, first time getting a real power by myself. I think the most important thing is we have fun. Yeah. And I know that I can get some. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. And uh, and you wouldn't have thought it from this morning, right? Because this morning it was cold, it was raining, it was cloudy. You wouldn't have think it would be a good day to have a dive, but it's not too bad this afternoon, no. was it? No, but uh, we've got some nice weather there. Yeah. It's just getting a little bit cold. That's nice. we just got to give it a go sometimes. It's all about the mahi, just give it a go, do the work, have a go. Alright, I think we're I think we're just about ready to go back to that boat ramp now. That's what we've been waiting on. As is often the case with boat ramps, we had to wait for a little bit at the end there. We had uh, father and son heading out there on a small little fishing boat and you know, we want to use that same exact ramp so sort of give them some time to come off and then we come on and head on up and unpack the boat. 